AI, chat, GPT, everything is just about that right now. Yeah, it is. I was reading an article in Forbes that says something about AI innovation in manufacturing can be manageable and incremental, involving employees in the process rather than being overwhelming. That's a funny way of saying there should be a way to still keep employees while integrating AI into manufacturing. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen in the next few years with AI and manufacturing? I would say a lot of our processes are stepwise automated already, mm -hmm. uh, especially like semiconductor fab, other things like that. But there's obviously key personnel in between there. I believe some of those positions will start to phase out, but I think that will take time to do that. I think the consumer facing portion of AI is going to grow much more rapidly. So like the chat GPTs of the world, right? It's a linguistic model. You ask it an actual scientific question, it gets it about 50% right. Literally yeah, yeah. about 50% right. The last half of it's a mess. I've asked it, I've I've been curious about this. So I've got, I've got a chat GPT account. I've gone in there and I've uh, started asking it like just basic chemical chemistry protocol questions. Like how do I perform this reaction? How do I perform this reaction? It gets about halfway through and totally messes up the last half. Not saying that it won't totally mess up the last uh -huh. half in like five years. It might get it completely right, right in the next couple of years. I'm just saying like these linguistic AI models uh, are one thing. And I think it will change the way we interact with seeking out information with a much more intelligent understanding of how to gather the information. Like, like sort of the next version of Google, basically. I do believe it'll be just disruptive to how we consume our information. There's still some fundamental gaps, though, I think, on the actual technical side that I'm not saying AI won't be able to resolve, but everything I've interacted with that's AI slash machine learning, whatever buzzword you want to use, still has a lot of fundamental gaps just because when it comes down to advanced chemistry, we have a lot of computational models that still aren't fundamentally like 100% correct, right? They're really good approximations. They're really good theories. So what is the AI going to run off of? That. We don't have perfect physical models for things that are absolutely 100% infallible mm -hmm. by any means. I 100% believe AI is going to continue to be disruptive and continue to grow and be a growing portion of that segment. From what I've seen on the fundamental hard sciences side, there's some gaps. Where I see it being far more disruptive far earlier on is how we consume information, though. I do okay. see a very big disruption there.